But not not too bad though. We don't get we don't get a good Digimon without hard work. Okay, can I get the metal that was here? Was it on this side? It was not on this side. Oh, it was on the side. Yeah, Pipsimon! I know that it probably is not pronounced uh, Pipsy, but uh, <laughs> it's, it sounds funny. Pippis. It was more like Pippis, but that sounds weird. <coughs> God damn my friggin' ass. <coughs> I'm coughing more often than I normally do. How do I get down there? It's probably from. Okay. I'll, I'll get that eventually. Or maybe I should have done that first. Oh well. <laughs> Come on, Demi Devimon. I promise it'll be worth your while. I already told you. I don't want to work for you. What's so bad about working for me? Oh, shit, i Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> I said I'll pay you double. Why would you stick with Digitumamon? I'm happy where I am. I'd like more pay, but you'd make me work harder for it, right? Just a little harder. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> How much is just a little? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> you maybe want to start playing this again? So I started. I immediately defaulted to the same two Digimon you always grab at first. I mean, hey, nothing wrong with what you like and what was in the originals. <laughs> If I paid twice as much, of course I'd want you to work twice as hard. What's wrong with that? It's too much. I can't do it. Even the hydrate. It's not. I appreciate the hydrate, but <coughs> sadly, it's just my lungs today. I, it's probably because I had such bad allergies yesterday at the garden we went to, and my lungs haven't recovered from it yet. <clears throat> it's only twice as much work. You're useless. Hmm, fine. I withdraw my offer. Okay, now get out of my way. I'm not letting you pass now. There's only enough room for one food delivery site in Eden. Mine! Let's see how far did you tell me his writings fall when his customers don't get their orders. Or never heard that's true. You can't do that, sir. What are you doing here? This is Digimon business. Stay out of it, human. No. Oh, I get it. You must be working for Digitamomon. In that case, take this. Now you take this. Am I just gonna be fighting him? Yeah, you're gonna get plummeted. Uh... Or I meant pummeled. Okay, so he's vaccine. So Floof. Floof has the advantage here. Wow, all that bark and no bite, huh, sir? Although, they're both the same. <laughs> mano e mano. What if Casey Gay just squared up with him? You think? They could just do a few kickboxing and kickboxing match. Ma ma bleh. Matches? Oh, it's too bad. We have Mega. Oh, no, not Mega. Metal Garuamon versus Wegurumon. Obviously, I'm not losing to that. Huh. You accuse me of being underhanded. I was just doing what humans do, trying to get ahead of the competition. Everyone does it. Um, did someone else do the same thing to you? I mean, okay. Where Garumon just asked Demi Devimon to, hey, I'll give you double the pay if you do double the work, which I guess makes sense to some extent. I, oh, but is the issue here that he's going to his competitors and trying to recruit them? I, oh, that's probably the issue. I mean, hey. <laughs> We, we, we live in a society, man. I, I mean... I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily wrong, but... 
like... Okay, my stance on this, I guess it's fine. Um, that, I guess, go to your competitor and try to recruit the employees. But if the employees are won over, that just means that their original employer was not doing enough to create a loyalty with their own employees, basically. <clears throat> I guess. <laughs> The Digimon do learn a lot of bad habits from humans, of course. Humans are terrible. <laughs> um, I'll just do this. I'll just say this. If I don't stop blocking the deliveries, Digitamamon will do the same to me! Oh, that wouldn't be good. I get it. I won't do it anymore. Oh, they were talking about blocking the deliveries. Okay, well, yeah, don't block the deliveries, bro. That's wrong. <laughs> okay, it wasn't... They, they weren't talking about the deep side of things. Wow, you persuaded Wargaruma to stop. You're amazing. Thank you, Mr. Hacker. I can make my deliveries now. I better hurry. Bye. Bye. Good luck with the pizza. Or whatever Digitamon sells. You really shaved my skin. My employees have just informed me all that all deliveries have been made. I should have known where Garumon was behind it. When I thought they might have been taken captive by an e evil Digimon, my competitors did cross my mind. Guess I wasn't far off. And trying to make my ratings fall. That's really low, even for a competitor. My employees are my treasure! You think the such ratings are more important to me than my employees? I mean, isn't that what he said? <laughs> Didn't he say that earlier that he cared more about the ratings? <laughs> or was that mistranslated? <laughs> that's not true. They're equally important. Or at least that's what I think now. All this has made me realize how important it is to have a unique selling point to set myself apart from the competition. <laughs> Don't talk about business and marketing with me. Ah! <laughs> I need to capitalize on my strengths and use them to boost my site's popularity. I want to develop a system for some products to be delivered within three hours of the customer placing an order. Three hours? Tough on my employees? <laughs> That's true. I'm sure they'll cope. But I'm sure my competitors are thinking the same. Ah, uh, another order's just come in. I have to go. Thanks again. <laughs> Kinda got like semi-nerd pirate there. I'm worried about its delivery stuff. But hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> we'll see how Digitamon's business goes. It's a different story in every life. All right, what is the next job? Here, let me, let's actually go to the Digilab. Let's see if I can swap anybody or add anyone else to the party. <clears throat> Did they give me anything? No. Oh wait, we haven't claimed it yet. <sighs> okay, we gotta add potentially one more person. Beans. Mm. Mm. Let's do that, I guess. Okay. Do I have any other Digimon we can bring with us? Well, I'll keep Kira in there for now. Starry... I think Starry needs... Oh, no, he's a Mega already. Let's swap the Brick and Dramon. Yeah, okay. That works. We'll do that. Okay. Swap the party. Let's get it. Claim the next bit. And let's do the next quest, which is which it was a main case, right? We can add another one with the new memory we got. Oh wait, that's right. I could add someone who's at least 18 memory. They don't have to be 20. Let's go back. Do I have space for another person? Wait, let me double check. 
82. Okay, yeah. As long as they're 18. That is a interesting sentence for me to say out of context. As long as they're 18. Okay, the thing is, though, I need I need Ebamon and Magna Andromon to stay here because I'm trying to, I'm f I'm grinding a very specific stat for Magna Andromon, and he gets that from Ebamon. Ah, okay, well we're bringing Kira. It's not like there's anyone else in there. Yes. <laughs> Gotta claim it. Yeah. All right, let's get the next memory up from the rewards and let's do this next main case. Thank you, thank you. Hacker rank up. I am now a veteran hacker. <gasps> Guys, we're famous. Okay, true identity of delivery boy. Wait, this, uh, this has nothing to do with the Digi Time One case. Wait, I think I've noticed. Did it really take me this long to notice? But all of the little in between cases in the chapters, they're all linked together. The last chapter was all the uh, the idol stuff. What was it before that? Because now this one's all based on deliveries. Uh, I'm at the usual place. Come when you explain to me later. Okay, so we went back to the freaking digi lab. I was just there. Um, Royal Knight, welcome, welcome. Are we at the point in the game where we can buy all the personality discs? I don't remember when they become available. I think so. I I think we can. We'll have to check Eden. They sell some in Eden and they sell some in other parts of the game. But so far, I haven't really needed to buy too many discs. But we'll see. Case for me, right? I better go to the Digilab and ask for details. Oh, round chapter 13? Okay, then we're not there. We're only in chapter 10. <laughs> something written on it. Sea grapes and red bean paste. Ooh, red bean paste is so good. Of red bean paste desserts like sesame balls and like mochi. What are sea grapes though? Oh wait, I know what sea grapes are, but can you just buy those? Apple vinegar prime pollock roll. <gasps> you want me to go shopping for you? For your dinner? Why? Give me money first. Well, yeah, but I did it for Chitose because it was for Hootie. Because I work for Hootie. I don't work for you. <laughs> Give me money first, ma'am. <laughs> A recipe for disaster? It depends on if she just wants groceries or she's just buying ingredients for a specific meal. Because if it's groceries, it's fine. But if it's ingredients, then yes. Disaster. に数パーでまとめ買いできるものじゃないの。一つずつ入手先が違うから、買ったらその都度連絡をちょうだい。次の食材の入手先を教えるわ。まずは比較的入手しやすい。30 Erase tickets. Oh god, she got a food stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Keisuke. Alright, Shinjuku. Coffee ingredients. Oh no, were they coffee ingredients? Just checked and Alice was right. They get unlocked after chapter 12. <laughs> 2.8 cups. I, I know some conversions. Just like... Kilometer and miles. What the hell is a kilometer? <laughs> One mile. Hold on. Uh, we're going which way? Two kilometers is 1.6 miles, I think. Uh, Shinjuku.
And then uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius, I still need to memorize that one. But I think 100 degrees Fahrenheit is like... Almost between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, this way. Ounces? Oh, you want me to do ounces? I don't know ounces. I haven't memorized ounces yet. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome! I highly recommend our mochi and jelly! Oh, what's that? Turn in race ticket. So, you're here for me, Ray. That's great news. My grandma has been wanting to go. Oh, didn't Ray tell you? This ticket would usually be a very expensive to buy. You can use it to redeem an exclusive consultation. Mireille ordinary bleh. Mireille ordinarily only sells them to her most loyal customers. My grandma's a regular at Mireille's place and gets these tickets in exchange for a special red bean paste. <laughs> My grandma would be over the moon. I know she's been looking forward to getting another one. Since most Americans seem to be the most used to that. I mean, we you, we use both um, ounces and cups depending on like what the ingredient is. Like ounces is mostly used for liquid. And then uh, cups is used for more solidified stuff. Um, but cups, I guess, is mostly used in baking. More so. And then ounces is gen a lot more general. So you're you're not half you're not half uh, half right half wrong I'd say. <laughs> One point two cups said yeah. I I, I still have to remem remember the ounces conversion. Grab the ounces conversions. I haven't memorized that one yet. Um, you should go up and try her handmade red bean dessert. This looks delicious. I want Japanese sweets now. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You've got some red bean paste on your cheek. <gasps> Wipe it off for me. Come on, Keisuke, get some action. Bruh. <laughs> Here, this is for me, Ray. Tell her I said hi. Man, Keisuke, you're a wuss. <laughs> Apparently one ounce is 28.3 grams. Ooh, very specific. <laughs> How's it going? Did you get the red bean paste? The old lady said she can't wait to come around <laughs> PJ Macy. I should have sold the ticket. Damn. <laughs> Damn, case game. You don't need that much money that desperately. She used to come by all the time, but her shops kept her busy lately. Of course, her red bean paste tastes amazing. But I sometimes exchange tickets for it just because I want to see her. But don't tell her that. Next, I need apple vinegar. You can buy it in stores. But it's quite an uncommon brand. I only know one place that sells it. The drugstore in Akihabara. The drugstore has apple vinegar? It's the one in the blue packaging. I know I'm asking a lot, but just think of it as a challenge. Okay. Fell har harder earlier in the game to pick up a- Wait, what? Crypto failed hard earlier in the game to pick up a girl. No, that wasn't me. That was Keisuke. I just did the options that the game gave me. And it was the coaching that Keisuke got from Chitose. So if anything, Chitose is the real failure here. <laughs> I want a cool hat. Oh, I need to see how, if, how to get more accessories in this game. Or is that only like a modded thing? No, they can definitely give me more accessories. I imagine there's some mods for it, but I'm playing on Switch, so I can't. And I don't have a modded Switch, unfortunately. Okay. Um, wait, which grocery store sort did of they say? Ah, oh, well. We'll find it. This, let's go back to the map. Okay. Okay. Du, 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 you can now go- oh, Akihabara. Okay. Cool! Dude, I want to go to Akihabara so bad. I'm going to spend so much money there. <laughs> if I ever go there in real life. Oh man, look at this guy. He's a uh, Jojo posing. Look at him. <laughs> uh, which way do I go? 
Oh my god. This is so dangerous. Oh, there's a shop here. Hello, cat maid. What do you sell? Poison recovery. How much of all these do I have? It doesn't tell me. I have five of these. Okay, I'll just buy two. It's the reason I don't really use a lot of uh, items in the game, though. I rarely find myself using them, so I don't tend to buy them. Okay. Um, I think you have to participate in the online battles in the Digilab or the tournaments in Nakoda Broadway to get the accessories. Oh, really? Lame! Damn. I don't really like to do online stuff. And is there anyone- s is there enough people still playing this game to do online? <laughs> or the tournaments in Nakoda Broadway? Okay, I'll have to look it up later. I mean, I guess accessories aren't that important. You gotta roll a movie night in an hour and I gotta get stuff done and only have 1.5 monitor limits things. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, Lele. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you're, uh, you get your monitor situation fixed and uh, enjoy your movie. Uh, whichever movie you're seeing. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Um, I think you can do NPC battles. I don't remember that. It's been years. <gasps> if it's NC NPC battles, I'm fine with that. Welcome. Can I help you? The apple vinegar in the blue packaging. I'll just, I'll just check. Please wait a moment. I'm sorry, but we're sold out. Damn. There's a health fair being held at a large store in Ikebukuro. Oh, they're gonna make me go everywhere, aren't they? They may have some there. It's worth a try. Zootopia! <gasps> I love Zootopia. I, I've seen Zootopia twice when it came out. Dude, Zootopia is very- is actually pretty good. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. One of the last few good movies Disney made. Animation-wise. Wait, how do I- Let's go up this way. Geburuko. Not gonna borrow. I do have offline Coliseum against like five NPCs in a row. Run silver gold and maybe something higher. Ooh, okay. I guess I'll probably do some of that off stream and see if I can get more accessories. Uh, where is this location happening? Um. See, is this the main street? Yes, okay. Probably on this side. So they're having something kind of equivalent to a farmer's market. Oh, not quite. Hey, you! You're the occult kids, aren't you? No, you're just some NPCs. I finally found the yogurt I've been looking for. It's not usually sold in Tokyo. <laughs> Lucky you. And I got to see some weight training equipment. It's so much fun. Top floor, the gaming machines in the arcade part. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. Hi, what's up? The health fair? That's on the first floor. Now, where would the apple vinegar be? Uh, found it. That's the one in the blue packaging. <laughs> they really had to uh, stress the, the fact that it's the blue packaging multiple times. It looks like the last one. Must be my, be my lucky day. Someone's gonna snatch it out of my hands, aren't they? Better tell me right. Okay, good. Successful? Good job getting the vinegar. Are you in Akihabara? Huh. I sold out, but you bought it at a health fair at a shop in Ikeburuko. You really went the extra mile. Thank you. Next ingredient is sea grapes. I buy them from a friend in Asakusa, but he's a little bit of a handful. He's not a bad guy, but you'll know what I mean when you meet him. He's a little bit of a, an eccentric guy. I've already paid. Can you go and pick them up? They'll be waiting by the gate in Asakusa. Okay. The gate in Asakusa, okay. New location? I don't remember if we had that already. Let's see. 
Ugh, we're doing errands, little fetch quests. And that's only- we- do we even have half the ingredients already? I don't think so. <laughs> Asakusa. I- I find it so funny how we're unlocking locations through, like, the dumbest quests. <laughs> Whatcha? Uh-oh. Is he British? <laughs> we're sleeping silk. You can leave the map from the side street just a bit foody. Oh. Oh well. It's fine. I brought me race stuff. You ate to pick it up. Or does he just talk like a... Pleased to meet ya. Oh wait, no, he's Australian. Australian? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, the sea grapes you ordered. What exactly are sea grapes anyway? That's what I was saying. I was like, those aren't real things, aren't they? Crikey, lad. You've never heard of sea grapes? Then I'll tell you all about them. Some people call them green caviar. Green caviar? I mean, I like caviar. Wait, I've seen green caviar before. That's an actual thing. Wait. I don't know if they're actually called sea grapes, though. They ain't grapes like the fruit. They're a kind of edible seaweed. And proper, proper tasty they are, too. Well, you chew them. It's like loads of salty little buds bursting in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that last one was so funny. <laughs> Debut of my uh, Australian impression. <laughs> Me, I like eating them with rice. It goes down lovely with a pint of beer. A marriage made in heaven it is. <laughs> oh God. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so if you're ever in Okinawa, I strongly recommend the fantastic beaches and great local grub. Yeah. Anyway, give my best to me, Ray. I'll be waiting for her next order. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I've never attempted an Australian accent before. That was funny. <laughs> I don't even know if that was supposed to be any specific accent. I was just- I just committed to it. You got the sea grapes. Thank you so much. He's a nice guy, but he goes on and on and on. At least I have the sea grapes now. The next ingredient is the last one. It's Prime Pollock Row, but I've never used the supplier before. I thought it was just an ordinary online store. But I found a Digimon response on the server. I suspect he might be a hacker. And when I dug a little deeper, I found something even more interesting. Uh, I think you're supposed to be Okinawan, but they turn him Australian in translation. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, I mean, he said crikey. Crikey. <laughs> so I was just like, mate? Australian? <laughs> Slimmer stereotype, I think. I mean, I guess so. Because, like... You can't really translate dialect, right? So I guess the most you can do is like accent. He seems to be so something rather unusual on his server. What do you mean? What is he selling? <laughs> you're a hacker too, aren't you? You'll find out when you get there. I'll send the girl. Polak Row server, <laughs> you I'll contact him once you get in. I get the feeling a Digimon battle will be unavoidable. Be prepared. Like, a, is it gonna be a domination battle? No, they only do that in the main story. How will I know when you're in? <laughs> Who do you think I am? Okay, Mr. Hacker. Go get my Prime Pollock row. I'll be waiting. Food, hiya. Dive in, lurk in. Food, you just missed my Australian accent. You have really bad timing. <laughs> Oops, I don't want to talk to this old man. But food, it's been a while. You dive in, you playing dive the diver. <laughs> dive in and lurking. Oh, da, 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 da. but thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Wait. Here we go. Wait. Oh my god, now the map is all crazy because we've added so many new locations. Oh, driving! Pfft, I read diving. Oh my goodness. Yeah, don't text and drive. 
I just glanced on it and I thought it said diving. I'm sitting kind of pretty far away from my chat monitor. So the, the, the chat's a little bit small today. Kind of see the VOD. <laughs> I think I did a pretty decent job, not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, let's go to Eden. The last grocery or ingredient we'll find out. <laughs> this. Polak Row Server. Okay, I imagine we're gonna be fighting a bunch of fish. So, like, Colamon, Gomamon, uh, Betamon. It looks like you're in. Does anything look out of place? I mean, the whole place is literally red. Welcome. You are the 23rd customer to visit by hacking the server. He seems to be up to something interesting. I'm certain he's selling something unusual. See if you can find the owner's avatar. Okay. Where is his avatar? Backy peaky, welcome back. Damn, so many people missed my Australian accent. That sucks. <laughs> okay, fish? We're fighting fish, aren't we? Hunk. This is not Aisha. fish. These are fire types. Where are we fighting fire types here? Eche. Eche. Starry, Iris, and Floof. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> I know I did auto, but that was great. I was like, yeah, these guys are all gonna level up. I can just auto. Okay. Left or right? Left or right, guys. Left or right. Oops, I wanted to check my text. There are a lot of evil hackers inside Eden, right? Those guys would scare you. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's more scary than getting my account stolen and leaked. I had to go walk the doggo. <laughs> the doggo. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go left since I was kind of already leaning that way. Uh, what the? Uh, uh, we'll go middle. Oh, is this gonna be one of those instances where I have to try multiple patterns to get to the correct one? God beans. We're gonna, are we gonna be here for a while? Nice crit. Nice. Man, they suck. What kind of server is this? And they're all using specifically water types. I'll be honest, that is not looking very watery. <laughs> I know, I was like, why are there so many fire types here? Uh, okay. Okay, so I first went left and middle, so I guess I'll memorize where I went before. So that way I don't do the same options again. If, if it takes me to a, another random place. Oh, there they are, wait. Ain't no shot I got the correct one right off the bat, or does it not matter? That could also be the case, but if it doesn't matter, then what's the point? But did I actually get it first try? Hmm. The odds of that happening are very low, so I feel like maybe it didn't matter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all fire types, huh? But we're here to get row. We're here for the fish. Okay, what is this here? Um, it's Mr. Tyranimon and Sylphimon. What is happening here? Welcome. Are you looking for Pollock Row? How much do you want to buy? Oh, Prime Pollock Row. I see you're a man of good taste. I assume you're here for the special hacker discount. What's that? Hey! Don't make me jump like that. Are you asking about the special hacker discount? All hackers who come here are eligible to buy our Polak Row for a special price. This is sketchy. Mireille, you're, you try to send me to this very sketchy site to a supplier you've never bought from before. Look what they're doing. They're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to do something bad. I know it. Seeing Tyrant on next to Starry. <laughs> 
This Tyranimon is just a wannabe. He wishes he was as cool as uh, my, my Rust Tyranimon. Furthermore, all first-time customers who beat us get an amazing 50% off. Oh, is that a challenge? Think you can beat the Robros? A Robros? <laughs> Tyranimon, don't use that name. It's so embarrassing. It's the team name, the boss gave us. I like it. The boss is obsessed with Pollock Row. That name's so embarrassing. I don't even like saying it. He gave us the name because we're both red, just like Pollock Row. Tyranimon, please knock it off. I think it's a great name. He's named you after something he really loves. I mean, I don't know if I want to be named after fish eggs, but <laughs> to each their own. Anyway, you'll fight them. You don't have a choice in the matter. Prime Pollock Row is the most expensive ingredient I use. She said ingredient. Uh-oh, what is she cooking? If I can get 50% off, I could buy twice as much. Go on, defeat the Robros. Forget twice as much. I'll buy three or four times as much. She's dreaming if she thinks you can win. But you look reluctant. We haven't had a real battle in ages. Come on, don't let us down. Face the Robros. Okay. And you're both fire types, I'm gonna assume. <laughs> no? Okay, we have fire, data, and then free and wind. Okay. Let's see. Who am I currently using? We're using Eyeless. Okay, Eyeless is gonna have a bit of a disadvantage against uh, the Tyranimon, so we'll have him aim for the Silphimon. Oh, a Silphimon's quite angry. Okay. Data, data. Let's try this. See how much damage this does. Eh, not a lot. Okay, maybe I won't use that move anymore. Starry on the Tyranimon. Okay, ooh, he's paralyzed, perfect. I think he'll just need one more hit and we can get rid of that Tyranimon. All right, good thing they don't hit very well though. Let's try Holy Light. Let's see how much this does to the Silphimon. Okay, decent, decent, decent. Then Floof, oh, I forgot to, okay. I said I was gonna swap out Floof's skills and then I forgot. Um, let's try... I don't think we need an attack boost. Ah, damn. Okay, as long as he's still paralyzed. Top Gun. I've never seen that movie. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick. Despite the fact I'm American. <laughs> American. Excuse- oh my god. He actually missed? Okay, then well now their speed's up, so that's something. Um, I can only use Morgan Palm 2 on Sylphimon. And then Crit, but very low numbers. <laughs> this ain't a challenge. 401. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we got a Sylphimon medal. That's cool. Everyone leveled up. Perfect, perfect. Change out your attacks too? Okay. What a rush! What a workout! Too bad! Those are some great Digimon you have there. As promised, you've earned a 50% discount. How much would you like? Two kilograms. Damn, that is... <laughs> huh? Two kilograms from Mirei Mikar Mikagura's consultation room in, Nakan in Nakano. It will be delivered in three or four days. Wait, did I read the names wrong? <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait to see the quality. Thank you for your business. That's, I was gonna say, I was like, two kilograms is a lot. What does she need that much for? Won't that go bad pretty quickly? I should have a much better healing and revive skills. Ah, I see, I see. Nobody's ever bought that much. What will she do with it? I have no idea. Make sushi for days? 
ハッカーたちと触れ合わせて心を育てることもできるデジラボにも通じるところがあると思わないあ、一度ご主人に会ってみたくなったわねあ、それじゃ、お願いしていた食材をいただけるかしら Give you the whole bit of it. Red bean paste up oh, vinegar secret. Boy, what, what the heck can you actually make out of all this? Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Chad, she's mommy. God, food. Food. Tisk, tisk. I have nothing. <laughs> He's done this so many times, I have nothing to say anymore. <laughs> Coffee. I'll see you tremble with emotion one day? Wow, what a statement. <laughs> food being food. Of course he is. He, that's why he's number one on the list for, sac for sacrifices. I was about to say, coffee, Kyoko. Give me, give me my coffee. Hello. その様子だといい食材が手に入ったのかなごめんと。さすがは探偵さん。察しがいいわね。おお。これはどれも質のいい食材ばかりだな。え、キヨコ、だしはメイキングウィアフードフォー。これで、また私の研究が進むというものだ
No need for disguise? Okay, yeah, we can't just go in. Why? I want to see Gyoko and maybe run into Ami. Okay, let's go. Let's go read that memory. See what that is. I haven't picked up a memory in a while. I wonder if I. I, I definitely have been missing some somewhere. I should probably try to retrace my steps and collect them. Pog. Pog. I forgot people still said Pog. I haven't heard it in a while. <laughs> did the if Kyoko opens up her own coffee shop, would you guys would you guys go there? Would you would you be customers? I know food will because he likes hot women regardless. But would you guys go there to try the coffee? <laughs> You ain't suicidal? <laughs> yeah, that's the correct answer. Oh, I have two files. Okay, let's open 16. It's an account meant to record a certain event for prosperity. On the day it happened, I headed to the agency as usual. Here I shall refer to the pro proprietress simply as Q. Q asked me to be her assistant, and I had just been to a certain cafe to buy her the usual. When I got back, Q gleefully took it from me and promptly disappeared into the lab, or at least that's what I call it. That is when I started to imagine the horrors that were about to take place there. Q has a bad habit. Q is attempting to transform the pleasant aromic substance I had just bought into a terrifying beverage of mass destruction. <laughs> I, I think I know what they're talking what this is talking about. Hard no, see yeah, only food only food would go down. To go down to that cafe. <laughs> As my curiosity got the better of me, I decided to peek into the lab. The lab is strictly off limits, but it may have cost me my life if I did not find out exactly what was going on. I had no choice. I opened the door a couple of inches and saw Q rushing back and forth. What I saw made me gasp. There was a gigantic tuna hanging from the ceiling by a rope. And Q was holding a sharp knife, ready to cut it to pieces. From why? Are, why are they trying to cut up a fish like they do at the butchers? Those are two di very different things. Baffled at what I was witnessing, I overheard Q gleefully talking to herself. Food would also go down to the hospital afterwards. <laughs> yeah, get food would would owe like thousands of dollars for that one treatment. <laughs> My assistant's been working so hard lately. I need to make him an extra nutritious cup of coffee. They say tuna's rich in vitamins B5 and B6. And I heard the eyeballs are great brain food. They definitely have to go in. I mean, I do like fish eyeballs. <laughs> My mom made fish the other day and I ate the eyeballs and they're good. I like eyeballs, the fish eyeballs. <laughs> but they're too big for a coffee cup. I'll just have to put them in the blender. I also need lots of bananas and other fruits to provide glucose. Okay, imagine that. Just putting chunks of tuna into the blender until it's liquefied. That's gross. <laughs> tuna coffee. I mean, the weirdest coffee place I've ever been to would mix stuff like different berries and different nuts and diff like it and that kind of things. And like, I heard, like I heard like smoky coffee or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I've ever... Uh, that's the coffee place I went to. That's the weirdest coffee I ever had. Because I was like, why do I want my coffee to taste fruity? And why would I want my coffee to taste like nuts? And why would I want to get a smoke effect from it? But I don't know. But, um, this is another level. <laughs> and I'll add some tapioca for texture. Okay, girl, I think the fish is the texture itself. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. With a big smile on her face, she put all the chopped ingredients into the blender and pressed the button. The ingredients were ground up into an M M amorphous goo that gave off a foul stench. He was grinning all the while as the ooze splattered the kitchen. What is this? <laughs> what is this story? I fell to my knees, shaking as the prospect of the terrible experience I would be I would soon be subjected to. After all the beverage of mass destruction that Q was in the process of con concocting could not be meant for anyone else. I don't like coffee at all either, so this is nasty. I was sure to be its intended target. I am using my last mo- Wait, is this Ami? Is Ami writing this? I am using my last moments to write this account. I hear Q calling me. My time has come. By the time you read this, I may be no more. 
I just want someone, anyone, to read this one day. I should have read that with the whole thing with more emotion. And I hope that whoever does will do everything in their power to ensure that the same fate does not befall any more poor, unfortunate souls. I hope that this record does not end up lost in a mountain of data. This, that is my final wish. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmare is what it is. I forgot he has shows. Some of these lines out of context sounds like a murder scene. Maybe that was the point. Happy Hacker Record. Here I write about hacker terminology. Back doors. That deserves a vine boom. <laughs> Back doors. These are security holes that designers and maintenance staff deliberately leave in systems. Once Eden hackers find such... <laughs> oh, that vibe move was so quiet. Once Eden hackers find such backdoors, they use them for their own purposes while assuming that no one finds out. Hmm, that was a bit sus. Sussy statement. There are even some elite hackers who are capable of forcibly creating their own backdoors. They do those glute workouts. Wait, it just ends there? <laughs> Oh wait, that was so anticlimactic. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> giggity? What does giggity mean? Giggity. Oh my god, giggity's nuts. That's my dad. <laughs> okay. I am 12 years old. 